Daniel Westbrook here with a quick working tip. And I saw this one on Instagram by another carpenter, which is why I think it's so important to share knowledge with each other, why I think those mediums are so great. I want to point out what we like to do when we're doing our base. And uh, a lot of times, uh, the bottom edge of drywall in corners is really, uh, it's got, it's tapered. And it has a tendency to kind of, your base rocks and rolls like that. And so when you have an opposing piece that sits into it, it may not fit nice and tight. So instead of having to fit all these corners precisely, especially on a tall base like this, what I saw those guys do is put a screw in the corner like that, holding this opposing piece nice and solid so it doesn't rock. And then this piece slides right into it for a nice tight joint. So the idea is go around all of your base, make those work by using your patterns, and then when you go back to do your installation, you don't have to fuss around.